Hello everybody, in this video we're going to learn about slices. Alright, let's get going. So in real life, if I want just a part of a loaf of bread, I'm going to slice it. In Python, is the same thing. Slicing in Python will return just part of a string or a list. And there are a lot of different scenarios where you might want to do something like this. So here's a real example of why you might slice. Let's say you're following basketball, you have Steph Curry's points for the last seven games in a list, and you want to do some analytics. With the slicing technique, you can easily slice off the information for those last three games. So if you want to use a slice, here's the formula or the syntax. So we have the list, then square brackets. Inside those brackets be the start index, so it's what number you want to start with, and it's going to be inclusive, so that number will be included with a colon, and then the end index, which is the integer, and it's the number that you're going to stop right before, so it's exclusive. It's not going to count that one. Now if we want to save it to a variable, we can. With strings, it's pretty much the same. You have a string, the brackets, the start index, which is an integer, where you're going to start, it's going to be inclusive, so it will include that number, the colon, and then the end index, and that's where you're going to end. You're going to stop right before that number, so it's exclusive. And if you want, you can save it all to a new string. All right, so all that can be kind of complicated to understand, so let's see it in action. So here I have a list called numbers. The item number matches up with the index, meaning that the zeroth index is zero, the first index is one, and so on and so forth. And this will make things a lot easier to see. So I'll print first a simple slice, numbers zero to two. And when I run this, it prints out zero and one. Why? It's because the first number zero matches up with index zero of the list, inclusive, and the second number two is exclusive. The slice ends before that number. So if I want my slice to be zero, one, two, I need for my slice to be from zero to three because the slice is exclusive of that last number. So here's another example. I'm gonna print out a slice of the list from zero to nine. It's gonna start at zero. That first number is inclusive and it's gonna end exclusively of nine. So it'll end before nine. So it will not get that last number on the list, which is nine. So what do I do if I wanna get that last number on the list? Well, I could set that last number in the slice to be 10. Normally this can be super bad if I'm working with lists that are gonna have a index error, runtime error, but this time it works. So for slices, you can set that number to be much more than the items in the list. Let's see if it works if I set that number sky high, and it does. I get that last number, all items in the list. Now I'm gonna tell you right now, this is not how you wanna do it, but it does work. All right, so now let's see what happens if I leave the numbers blank. So I'm slicing, so instead of zero to two, I'm gonna say blank to two. And what happens? It looks like it's the same as if it's zero to two. And in fact, that's how it works. If I leave that first number empty, it's the same as if that first number is zero. All right, what if I leave that second number blank? Well, let's try that out. And what you're gonna see is it prints out all of the items in the list. And if you look up the documentation, what it says is if I leave that second number blank, it's the same as if I did the length of the numbers, which is 10. So it's gonna be the same as numbers colon 10. So if you're looking to get the entire list or the last part of the list, this is a better way to do it than just putting some high number there because this method will guarantee you're gonna get the end of the list no matter how long the list is. All right, so what about negative indexes? As a reminder, you can use negative indexes in Python. So if I printed out numbers bracket minus one, that's gonna be the last item in the list. And if I print out numbers bracket negative two, that's gonna be the second to last item in the list. And this is something I might wanna do, let's say again, as in the example, I wanna get Steph Curry's point total for the last three games. But when I try it right here, it doesn't work. Why? Because minus three is inclusive, so it includes that number, but minus one is exclusive and it does not include that number. It stops right before it. It might be helpful to look at the positive number equivalence. Minus three is equal to seven, so it includes seven, but minus one is exclusive, meaning it does not include the ninth one. It stops before that one. So it only gives me seven and eight, and that's not what I want. So to fix this problem, once again, I'll use the blank second number. Numbers minus three colon blank will give me the last three items of the list. Numbers seven colon blank would also give me the last three items of the list, but it would start to fail if my items didn't have exactly 10 numbers. So it's what we call a static solution. It's not gonna work when the problem is dynamic or changing. So if you really want the last three letters of a list, you'll wanna use a negative index. Again, I, this is sort of a long way to say this whole thing, but if you really want the last few items of a list, use negative numbers. All right, so you can do this exact same thing with strings. Slices also work with strings. I'm gonna make a string here with letters between A and P. 
And since you've seen it already, I'm going to fast forward to the typing. All right, so the first one gives me a slice between the index 0, inclusive, and index 2, exclusive. So it excludes the C, which is index 2. The second one, we're following the rule. If the first number is blank, that means it's 0. So it's the same thing. If for some reason I wanted to include the C, I need to go from 0 to 3. 13 to 0 starts from the 13th index, which is N. Word bracket 13 colon blank gives me from index 13, which is N. When the second number is blank, it's the same as if it's the second number is length of the word. So 13 colon blank takes me from index 13, which is N, to the end. Finally, if you want the last number of characters in a string, use a negative index. All right, so common mistakes. For the most part, students can see the mistakes when they do this. The problem comes when they can't see the mistakes they're making. And I'll show you right now. So I'll have a name of Christina and a nickname. I'll make it name a slice of the name. So I'll make it from 0 to 4. And, you know, print out, yeah, your name is Chris, if that's your nickname. So we'll try this out. And it doesn't work. And I think it's supposed to work. And it doesn't work. So this is a really, really common thing I see. People do slices, they don't work as they expect, and they don't do anything about it. And that's a mistake. So all the time this happens, uh, what you should do is you should print out what's going on. You can't see what's going on in your code right now, and you should do prints to see what's going on in your code. This concept applies everywhere in computer science. If you can't see what's going on, use a print to see what's going on. So I'll print out the nickname now, and when I run it, I see, oh, oops, it's really obvious now. I just need to change that number by one, and it works. Again, this is a big concept that happens in computer science. If you can't see what's going on, make it so you can see what's going on by printing out your variables. All right, so here are the mini labs. You should pause the video and try these labs out yourself first, but if you can't get them, here are the solutions. So, first one. First one, we just want to print out carrot with a negative index. So, so cucumber is minus one, pepper is minus two, carrot is minus three. So I'll print that out. Again, it's minus three, and there you go. Next one. This one, it wants me to make a slice. It wants me to print out Rihanna, Eminem, and The Weeknd. So that's the first three. So let's try that now. So the first number will be the first index, and it's inclusive. The second number is exclusive, so I need to go one past. So if I do three, it prints out Rihanna, Eminem, and The Weeknd. Again, if I just made this two, zero, one, two, it would not print out The Weeknd as I wanted. All right, the next one. So this is a similar thing, except now it wants me to use a negative index. So if I look at this list, it wants me to print out Shakira, Maroon, Five, Timberlake, and Gaga. So if this is minus one, Minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. Shakira is minus 4. So I'll leave that blank. Run it. I made a mistake. Oops. Try that again. And that works. Again, this will not work. This will leave off Gaga because it's exclusive. It stops before it gets to Gaga. And something like this, this would work. But it's not ideal in case I add more items to my list later. A lot of items to my list later. So again, this is best. Leave it blank. When you leave it blank, it means the length of the list. All right, the next one. All right, number four. This is more of the same. It's just trying to show that you can slice a string. So I'll do that right now. And what do I need? Well, I need the E. So that's, I can leave it blank. And blank or zero, either one's the same. The colon. And then for the second number, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then it works. If I did 5, it would also print Emma, but it would print Emma in a space, and that's not what I want. So this should be a 4. Last one, the debugging one. So I have a full name here, and an abbreviation, and I would like the abbreviation to be equal to El Bacho, but it's not. So how would I fix this problem? Well, I don't really know what abbreviation is. So the first thing I should do is print it out. Let's try that out. El Bach. So I'm really missing. What am I missing? I'm missing it wants to be El Bacho, but it's really El Bach. So I'll change this by one. And that works. 
Alright, so that's pretty much it. Hope that was useful to you. And if it was, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.